Hello and good morning budgeters. Welcome to my country kitchen. My name is Christina and today we're going to be processing some apples that we got from a local apple orchard. I took my kids apple picking and I don't know if this is like the most cost effective way to create these apple recipes. Um, but since we're going to go apple picking no matter what, it's just good so that the apples don't go to waste. You will see, spoiler alert, one of the things does not go quite as planned, but I made the best out of it. I'm really bummed about it, but it's still getting a purpose and it's still being used in food that we're able to eat. So thanks for hanging with us and hopefully you enjoy the journey of us processing our apples this year. Here's my little crock pot and I'm gonna use this to make some applesauce um, baby food. All right, so I just about filled my crock pot. Um, I'm gonna add maybe about a cup of water and then see if I need more as the cooking process goes on. I'm also gonna see if I need to add some lemon juice. I know for typical applesauce, I think I do need to add on some lemon juice, but um, this is baby food, so I wanna just add as little to it as possible. Um, if we were making real, like, you know, uh, applesauce for us, I would probably add apple juice or apple cider instead of water. I'm going to add cinnamon and uh, vanilla extract and all that. But for this, just being baby food, I'm just keeping it as apples as much as I can. Welcome. So I'll get back to you on if I add a lemon or not. Alexa, set timer for four hours. Four hours, starting now. All right, so the timer went off. Let's take a look at how the apples have cooked down. All right, so they don't look much different. Um, they have decreased like their height. So like pretty much the water is coming out of them. Um, Essentially, they're just they're becoming mushier, but I do want to get in there and start mashing some because you can see there's little pieces that are starting to like dry out a little. So let me mash this up a little bit and see what we get. All right, so I'm just going to try to use this little meat masher. It literally just came in the mail today. So I'm just oh, yeah. It is so yeah, there's like no difficulty to this at all. It's simply just mashing down really nicely. I'm gonna grab my immersion blender. I probably will since this is actually baby food. Now, if this was just regular applesauce, like I'll make later on um, in the video, I'm pr I'd probably leave it like this texture, like maybe mix it a little bit more. Yeah, let me grab my immersion blender. So what I tried of it so far, it tastes perfectly balanced, not too sweet, not too tart, just a really good in-between taste uh, for a baby. And I'm just putting some aside. I'll probably add some cinnamon. I'm just putting some aside so that my son can have some and I want it to cool down. So that's what this is. The rest of it, I am going to, I think either jar or I might even put them in breast milk baggies. Haven't decided yet. As you can tell, my son got into the apples. Those are his little bite marks, so they were so cute. But for this recipe, we're going to be making applesauce, a chunky applesauce, 
um, you'll see this is what actually went wrong. I should have used a crock pot liner or just used that small crock pot from the first day. All right, so at this point, I've got a full bowl of cored and sliced apples. Now I'm just gonna go through and remove if there's any remaining skin, if there's any kind of um, seed pieces in there because I don't want anything hard. I want the applesauce to not have like those hard little, I don't know what they are, seed um, peels, I don't know. But I'm just gonna go through and then I'm gonna cut them into pieces and I'm gonna load them into my crock pot. And I'm gonna see where I'm at. I might have to core more apples um, but we'll see. Well, I actually peeled and cored more apples than I can use for this crock pot. So um, you'll see all the apples are there in that crock pot. And again, those are all a variety of apples. And then I'm going to add the juice of a lemon or two. I'm going to see how much I get. And then I also have my um, vanilla extract that I made. Um, I have a highlight. It's on my Instagram stories. You can go check that out. It's very simple how to make vanilla extract. And I think I'm going to just grab my cinnamon and I'm going to add that to this as well. And I think I'm going to use some apple juice instead of water. So let's see how it goes. So I did have leftover apples and I decided to fill this little baking tray and I'm going to try to make apple, some kind of apple crisp with it. But I loved, like, do you see how white this one is? It's starting to brown a little, but it's so like, so, I just liked having all the varieties because it's just nice to see it all be like a medley. So for this apple crisp, I had no idea what I was doing. I just threw together a few things I thought I would like. I oiled or greased the bottom of my uh, pan. I think it's a nine by nine. I added some apple pie spice, added cinnamon, brown sugar, and I added that all to the apples and folded it all together. For the apple crisp topping, I used some butter that was soft, but not too soft. And I really had no idea what I was doing for this, the whole thing, but it really turned out to be great. I just cubed up the butter, added a third cup of sugar, a third cup of flour, and a third cup of brown sugar. And I kneaded it all together until it showed signs of being clumpy. And I didn't want to melt the butter too much. And when it looked about right, I added it on top of the apple crisp. Again, I had no idea what I was doing, but it turned out delicious. All right, so this is how the apple crumble looks right now. Honestly, I just did that blind. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. The butter probably should have been more cold. Um, I don't know how long to bake it for. I really don't know anything, but I'm just giving it a try and we'll see how it comes out. We're having a little rock on the sun porch, waiting for the apple crisp to be ready to take out of the oven and my son is taking a nap. So we're just soaking up the sun on this fall day. So 
So here's where we're at with the applesauce. We're going to test it to see if it's mushy. I have my helper. Hi, mister. Hi, Pierce. Hi. And yes, we are cooking dinner. Oh, you're good, baby. You knew what to do. Good. So we're gonna mash the apples. Mash, mash the apples. You're doing good. Oh, careful, careful. It's hot. hot. Yep, it's hot. Yeah. Good, from the top. Good job, Anthony. Okay, so I have bad news about my applesauce. So this was the texture I wanted, um, a little chunky. I was gonna try canning for the first time, um, but I took a bite of this and it tasted gross. And I think I know what happened. I don't think it was apples. I don't think it was anything I added. I think, hi baby. I think it's the fact that this crock pot I use for all of my like chicken fajitas and all that other stuff. And so it just smells like, or it must retain, it must retain some of that meat onion flavor. And I just try to add a little sugar, brown sugar to it to see like, okay, it was just like not sweet. Like what's going on? And like I tried it again and like it tastes a little better, but truthfully, I'm not going to eat it. So what a waste of my time and the apples and everything, but lesson learned. So my brother, who is a pretty good baker, he reminded me that applesauce is a good binding agent for um, baking goods. So I'm going to save this after all. The apple crisp was delicious. It was perfect. The apples were not too hard, not too soft. It had a really nice caramelized syrup. It was perfect with vanilla ice cream. All right, so my brother reminded me that this gross applesauce, if I added, hi, um, hi baby, more sugar and spice and stuff like that, then I can mask the flavor enough to use it as a baking hi, ingredient. Mommy. So I'm making some muffins. Hi, baby. I'm making some muffins right now using the applesauce as a binding agency. I'm using yellow cake mix, a scoop of, thank you, a scoop of protein powder, and I'm going to use two cups of applesauce, mix it up, and make some mini muffins. Like that. It's the oven, and it's hot. It's hot. Okay. So that's the apple processing video. It was a little long, but you know, there were lots of processes that we went through, lots of different recipes. It was a lot of work. Um, so let us know what you'd like to see in the future and maybe we can work something out and make a video for you. So we'll see you next time. Bye budgeters.